Hey, what's up guys? This is Mac Animation. Today, I will show you how to make unfolding banner like this. Let's start. First of all, take new composition. Rename it with unfold banner or you can rename it with anything make it 1920 by 1080 and uh, it's uh, 26 seconds long hit ok Control y for solid and uh, rename it with element make it com size hit ok now apply this layer element i'm using this thing it's fx console from where i applied element on this layer you can download that thing from video copilot site now we are in scene setup uh, here you have to import the 3d sequence i have given a link in below in description you can download that folder from there here we have to import 3d sequence remember 3d sequence okay select this first file and hit open you don't have to change these things just hit ok okay so you have this banner and uh, you can see it's animated you can here see it's animated now go for first frame okay and uh, select this thing you have to uh, like uh, make it custom layer 1 and diffuse glossiness custom layer 2 and uh, normal bump custom layer 3 make it 3 okay and uh, give some environment here uh, so i'm giving i think so this environment is better okay so here for now it's uh, fine and uh, one thing more here you have to change uh, like uh, uh, in this model you have to change its uv for now i'm not changing its uv it's uv you have to change these things here uh, for texturing that uh, unfolding banner okay uh, but for now i'm not changing anything here hit okay and uh, you have this banner you have to go for group one and uh, go for particle look and uh, here you can see your complete banner uh, like uh, put your cursor here and uh, resize it with the uh, i think so you have to complete just size go for party replicator and uh, position it here uh, more reduce the size of the banner more and adjust it here now it's fine for now you can see it's already animated like it's it is good it is uh, you can see the texture uh, the it's look like uh, real uh, now we have to uh, one thing more here you have to do you have to import i have given uh, that things in for folder you will find the uh, normal bump and uh, for just uh, texture i have given that i'm importing uh, two files here i have importing two files gloss and normal uh, these files are in uh, the lemon uh, the given link sorry uh, you have to just drag them here and uh, hide them and uh, go for element and uh, go for effects control go for custom layers uh, like i have uh, already selected the custom layer one for texture and two for gloss and three for normal bump so go for here yeah, next maps and uh, for layer one should remain empty for now and layer two it's gloss and layer three is normal bump you can see the texture is here okay the the normal bump have include the texture about like it's a cotton or something something like cloth okay uh, and uh, one thing more here uh you have to now import uh, some picture to texture that banner so i'm importing one more thing this is my logo i'm dragging this it uh, in here and for now hide it and go for element layer and select this effect control panel go for custom layers and layer one select this 
element uh, on sorry make mac full png like this so you can see here that uh, it's uh, textured but it's a lot of oh i i mean a lot of uh, logos of my channel are here i want just one single logo which can cover it whole thing here you have to adjust like uh, go for new and uh, make some solid and uh, rename it with the uh, logo okay and uh, any color you want to choose it's fine okay and uh, hide it and go for element layer and select this custom layer mac and select this logo layer okay so it have just uh, the color of this thing and uh, and now select this logo layer and control shift c for uh, pre-composite and pre-composite and hit ok now uh, copy that uh, image or anything you want to use logo here and or you can just drop that uh, any logo which i have made i'm dragging it here you can see and uh, i have to just adjust its size more now here on, on folding banner here still you can see uh, oh one thing uh, here you have to delete this layer and uh, it's fine you can see still we have a lot of logos on this thing i want a single logo on this banner uh, so it's a uh, very uh, you have to adjust its uv settings to so go for element and uh, go for fraction and go for scene setup mm, so i have uh, uh, worked it uh, in uh, very deeply for to get them these points so you just have to give values like i'm giving here uh, here you have to uh, give 0 0.06 okay and uh, in uh, this value uh, you have to give 0 0.09 okay and in uv offset on this value you have to give 0 0.52 okay and uh, in this value you have to it's um, in a minus okay 0 0.58 hit okay so you have to give these values here then you will have uh, don't you have no problem here you can see our logo is uh, fine and uh, one thing uh, i have to check more go for again on this scene setup and uh, select this thing and uh, check your custom layers and one thing more here you have to go for on i have given this material uh in description file uh you will find that material there you can put this material in video copilot uh the material folder and uh, i am dragging this material here mm, so now check now it's fine you can see here now it's fine so you have to drag this that material here uh, here one uh thing you can do here like it's uh, on uh, you have to rotate this uh, logo i want to rotate uh, so just uh, rotate uh, your any picture which you want to rotate make it 90 here uh, so it's uh, you can see it vertically but on that folder you will find it uh, it uh, will suit you can uh, resize it with the uh, like uh, shift or link shift for accurate size down or you can place it a little bit down so it's really fine okay and one thing more you can do here you can just new go for uh, light uh, and uh, you have to select point light remember or, or with intensity you have to suit better you can change you can change even colors you can change even light like you can take spot parallel as your project wants uh, but i'm using now the point light hit okay and uh, drag it here this light oh sorry apologies and select the light and drag it here okay so you can see here more shadows on when it's uh, going down you can see here the more shadows you have to drag it here so the shadow will more fine you can see you can see the shadows because of light uh, you, i just wanted to take one more light to make that shadows here too so i'm again taking one more light or uh, it's fine find light two 
and the uh, fraction should be here and here so it will be more uh, looks more realistic looks more good so you can use this banner and uh, you can write anything here uh, like uh, I am you can write here anything uh, how to write it's very simple just go there and write something anything here like I have wrote make it uh, control shift C make it pre-comp and you can rename it with rotate so you will find easily selected and uh, here you can write anything like I'm writing here text layer so go for here and you can write anything here which you want to write and uh, this is unfolding banner okay select them all and uh, color it's fine for now you will find good there or you can you just have to change its uh, rotation for now make it 90 and uh, go for selection tool and uh, drag it here then you will find this is an oh I missed the edge okay go for T2 drag it here T H now we have it we'll find this is unfolding banner you can write anything here you want to you can make some uh, like shapes here uh, like I'm again I'm showing you uh, like uh, uh, you can shape uh, anything here uh, like uh, select this shape layer and drag it here and uh, stroke color make it uh, this color you can see that the color is actually black so that's why it's not showing okay okay now it's fine you can it's a gradient okay you can if you don't want to use uh, don't want to use gradient you can just ignore it or and you can type here you can make more pictures here and uh, now what we got you can see here so what we got it's uh, amazing the unfolding banner and uh, it's uh, accurate or one it's like real clock okay and uh, here you can see uh, more things uh, like uh, I want to see here the full banner so you can have to go for element and uh, so it must be here and uh, two big scale your down scale down more okay so you will see the whole banner now so this is what we got the unfolding banner please stay tuned and subscribe me for more videos this is mac animation